<laughs> so good though. Yeah. I'm just getting out of Pilates. I've been doing privates. I'm trying to get ready for this wedding. And honestly, I have never been less motivated in my life. I don't know what my deal is. I'm finding all of these like super good dresses to wear. And I'm like, all right, so if you gotta really get it together, we're getting this like, <laughs> this is my ADD. We are got this client that I'm like so excited about. I wanna be friends with her. She's like really cool. All of our clients are really, really cool. Like I'm really enjoying having so many, I don't know, just meeting so many people. But I'm trying to look at my calendar. I have meetings all day and then I have so much this weekend. Ben and I went through every single cabinet, every single closet, everything and absolutely purged. And so I have all of it just sitting in my entryway. So many things, yikes. It's all loaded up, ready to go. My guilty pleasure is getting coffee and tea every morning, but on Mondays and Wednesdays, I like to surprise Ben with a little, little treat. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> After going through my closet, I realized how many clothes I have and how many clothes I don't wear. So I'm starting this thing that I started two days ago and I'm literally going through every single piece of clothing and turning it into an outfit. So like, for example, we started with the white. So I'm gonna have a lot of white outfits coming up. Yesterday was Valentine's Day, so I kind of switched it up. But I'm trying to do it so like today, I'm gonna wear this. It's cute, from Zara. And then what should I wear it with? I'm just trying to like go through every single thing. And then tomorrow I'll wear the next thing in line and the next thing. I got these new jeans from Madewell that I'm like obsessed with. Madewell by far has my favorite jeans. It's these ones, they're the I can't figure out what they are, but whatever they are, I'll tell you. And then they're just like, I have like my body type, skinny waist, big butt, probably not large legs, but like larger than my waist like. So it's just like hard to find jeans that fit. And these ones do such a good job at like cinching at the waist perfectly, fitting my butt and making my legs look decent. So that's like a major, major win for me. Calling it complete. Good morning, hi puppy. Hi. Oh yeah, did you have Galentine's? Yeah, I did have Galentine's. I posted. Wait, I need to add you guys to my like private story. Um, but I posted my roommate, who's like one of my good friends. We went out to dinner, and she showed up in this like champion sweatshirt where it looked like she was a guy. So I posted a photo and I said, "Soft lunch." <laughs> I know why you. Nobody thought people go that time like right off. I know, <laughs> Shelby. I know why you posted that thing on your Instagram story yesterday on your main one. So he knows. Because you, because she's yeah. trying to make well, that boy jealous. No, but guys, my journal yesterday was so funny, like so depressing. I start the first few sentences of my journal because I journal every day. <laughs> I go another Valentine's, another year single. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I made Ben tell me his favorite thing about me. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> I knew you would do that. What's what to say? Oh. He says it was actually really cute. He's like, you just feel like home. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's really I cute. know. I was like, that's so, so cute. We're having a light crisis because all the lights we ordered for the sophomore house, at least most of them, are out of stock, which kind of sucks, but they need those ASAP, so I need to figure those out. And then right now, I'm about to film with a producer from a network the possible show which we're like kind of like if it's meant to be it'll be but we're almost like the only way we would do it is if we went straight to season which is very rare to do so we'll see we'll have to get ready for that 
Anything else to catch them up on? Not really. It's great having a dog in the office. It really ups the mood. Yeah. Okay. Is this like good color together or weird? So this would be the shades. This would be the molding. And then there'd be like a lighter, almost like white green for the walls. No, I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's kind of fun. Like yeah. it's different. Yeah. It's earthy. Should I turn off the light? It's mm -hmm. earthy. Okay. And then look at this one too. So this one, this, these are all from Budget Blinds. So they have like actually such good um, drapings. We're doing the whole sophomore house in them. This is for the little girl's room. Cute. Like, so cute, right? And then this is for the living room. Isn't it like kind of a fun texture? Oh, that's so cool. It's like play or something, whatever it's called. <laughs> Love it. I've been telling my best friend for like years now that I will take her when she gets her wisdom teeth out. And today she's getting her wisdom teeth out and the weather, did you hear that? The weather is like supposed to be horrible, but it hasn't started yet. So I'm hoping that it's fine. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle, that was a really good catch. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle the snow and her drugged up personality. I can barely handle her personality already. Okay, Sophie's making me a little nervous. It's just because I had the worst experience and I got four dry sockets. But I'm just a little- Show them your curled eyelashes. I mean, she literally okay. took a curly iron so to her I'm, eyelashes. I was trying to be Alex early, but no, she doesn't even do this. Do so I, I see some girls on TikTok do it where they take the heat or the eyelash curler and then put it under their blind. I want- <laughs> I Did I already take it. the drugs? <laughs> the blow dryer and then they heat it up and then you curl your eyelashes. But sometimes it burns, but I accidentally curled this you one. Like, you need Is that why your eyes get red sometimes? No, I think that's my curl I, I have a lot of issues. Um, but this one turned out, I'm not like wearing makeup besides one coat of mascara. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting video, Sophie. I know. But this one got a little extra curled if you can see that. Yeah, that one got very, very <laughs> curled. <laughs> my transition. Lauren! You're not supposed to do that! Uh, because like, you like just got surgery in your mouth. Hey guys. Uh, <laughs> she did great. Not well. She doesn't remember anything. which has been like the best thing ever it's like the therapist for your business basically at 9 it's currently 8 51 and I can guarantee that there's snow absolutely covering my car also these are from Amazon aren't they cute like they're like 50 bucks or something which I feel like for shoes is a good deal so I'm having an all white all white winter moment can't even see my outfit I'm getting all of the final designs for the sophomore house in place because we're going to place all the orders for everything. And also, Etsy has my favorite vintage rugs. Okay, I'm going to try to do this in a way that... Look at how cute. This is for a toddler's room. Nursery. Kids bath. Half bath. 
Um, okay, it is now 2.15 on the Friday, <laughs> on the Friday, <laughs> on Friday, and we are headed to um, Ace Hardware because we need to buy paint for the sophomore house because the painter is coming tomorrow to paint it all. And I just saw pictures on Kate's story of the slate tile in the kitchen and it looks so good. I'm like freaking out over it. So that is what we're doing. So after the after we get the paint at Ace Hardware, we're going down to Whitefish Bay to drop it all off at the sophomore house. So hopefully I'll have some time to show you. And then um, we're meeting with a potential client um, to see a house that they are looking at buying and possibly renewing. So that will take us to the end of the day then. And I think Ben and I are going to go on a walk, pick up dinner to go, and have a very relaxed Friday. Ben was like, Sophie, all I want. <laughs> not on purpose on accident I'm a busybody so I'm like I like to plan things on the weekend and Ben was like all I ask is that we do nothing this weekend I don't want to do a single thing I want to plan the wedding which we have so much to do for the wedding and not socialize at all which is fine with me this weekend so it's kind of what's going on it is Saturday morning I have the weirdest zit under my nose, which is just interesting location. I got the H&M package, which has bedding and then a few shirts in it. So let me, let's do a little unboxing. Let me grab the box. The box looks like it went through, it went through something. First up, we have some sunglasses. I feel like I have these already. <laughs> such a freaking small head large forehead <laughs> small head all right those are good to like hide myself <clears throat> I need to all right next up I have two of these actually <sighs> I'm the biggest button down girl I think pulling the side of it out tucking it into jeans you look so polished but cute and I didn't have a black one and I saw a girl on TikTok wearing a black one, and I was like, no, I think it's time. All right, this is super cute, and I want to say it was, like, really, really inexpensive. Just a good old striped blue. Maybe I should wear this today. Yeah, that's, like, really, really cute. And then another button up in this really cute striped pattern, which I love. Here I got more. And then for the bedding, I have this gray sheet set or gray quilt set. I'm super excited about this one. So. And that wraps up the haul. I think I'm gonna do the bedding tomorrow, so. Finally, finally opening the bedding that I've been talking about all week. Okay, also, look at my cute new earrings from Target. $7, which, I feel like that's pretty damn good. So, first thing, I got a new white duvet cover. The Amazon Basics one. You can't beat it. And then I have a queen bed and I get a king mattress. Or a queen du a king duvet cover. Um, because I like it to like go down the sides really nicely. So that's my first tip for you. And then the quilt that I got that I showed you earlier, that's like darker. So I wanted lighter pillows. And I loved when I first got my apartment and like my last bedding, I just had three pillows in the back. It was so easy. It basically hid the bed. So like if it wasn't made super nicely, it was like completely fine. Uh, 
And so I'm kind of going back to that. And so um, my favorite velvet pillow covers, I've gotten so many versions of these. They are just these, they're so cheap, like stupid cheap. They come in a million different colors, like literally a million different covers. And they look like this. So um, I got the covers from Amazon. And then also I'll have like everything exactly linked on my Instagram story and in the description of this. But um, I got this pillow. So I always size up with the pillow inserts. These are the best pillow inserts in the entire world. They are from Amazon too. I'm telling you, they chop. Like if you're a chop pillow person, they hold the chop like so, so well. And they're really inexpensive too, which pillow covers or pillow inserts can get super pricey. So I got these and I always go a size up for the pillow inserts. So these are 26 by 26. 26 by 26 and then the pillow covers are only 24 by 24 so i'm gonna put those on really quick The bed is so ugly. Like, let me just show you. It's just not working. I sent it to Shelby and I was like, how bad is this really? Oh my gosh, and do I have dandruff? What is happening? Let me just show you the bed, it's so bad. She's like, Shelby, that is really good, not good. I mean, maybe it's not, I don't know, let me show you. The bed is, the bedroom's messy, which isn't helping anything. But like, I think that these just look like, cause they're white velvet, it looks like the pillows aren't done. And then I don't know how I feel about the gray. There's just, a lot happening. I have 500 glasses. I mean, it's such a shame. <laughs> I feel like this is vlog worthy. So before I end this, okay. So how we're asking um, for the flower girls and ring bearers. So I got just these um, little baby sunglasses for my niece from Amazon. They were just white and then I got these pink beads and I just glued them on. One of them fell off, so I'm gluing that back on right now, but it says flower girl. It's so cute. And then I ordered this from Etsy. It also says Flower Girl. So we're gonna send it in a box. I'm gonna send it tomorrow. So I'm trying to get it all ready. Ben, do you mind getting the box ready for me? Okay, so I know it's nothing special, but we're gonna do that. And then for the ring bearers, we got these cute shirts from Etsy that just said ring bearers on it. And I'm gonna get, they're like older, so they care about candy. So I'm gonna get them some of their paper candy. And call it a day on that one. How do you get that open? I don't know. Do we need a back door entry? I don't know how we get in. Yeah. Honey, I'm home. Oh jeez. Oh man. Okay, getting a little cold here. All right, well, you're a dumbass for not wearing a jacket. There it is. Wow, new flooring. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Wow, that, that looks so nice. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's really big. It's so good though. Yeah, that, that wet bar is like, it's gonna be a perfect dry bar. It's gonna be a perfect stuff. Yeah. And then isn't this so, like, look at how nice this is. Uh-huh. Shaking cocktail. Yeah. Yeah, that looks really nice. I am a sucker for slate floor, I'll tell you that. We love slate floor. Is this gonna be tile too or hardwood? This is hardwood. Okay, so are you just refinishing? Yeah. yeah. So she just... I really do like this space. But the problem is, like, you almost wish the fireplace was a little bit over yeah because it's just like such a big space to dedicate just to like couches well that's why we're doing the dining room living room in here now but i feel like it's kind of awkward that you have like a once you once it's done i don't think you think it's awkward yeah i'd agree fuck <laughs> yeah we're worried i'm gonna credit card you oh 
And so I really don't remember what your plans were up here. So this will be interesting. This is a really nice bathroom. Right here. Isn't it? Yeah. So this like, is this the toddler is, room. And it, it's like a, compared to your last room, like the twin boys is so narrow. Yeah. And this is just like very square. Which yeah. Is like more functional, I feel like. Nice. Good size closet. Yep. You can maybe even get like a stackable thing right here. Great size closet, yeah. Oh, carrying the arch theme here. Yep. Although, for me, you know. They're a little, you're 6'4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks really nice. Good size. Oh, not a good size here. So, this is the nursery. Master Sweet Entry. I don't think this feels as small as you think. I, I think it feels good in here. Personally, like I guess once you get the shitter in here too, though, it might. Yeah, be. it's gonna be a little. What's well, going here? Like a makeup. Yeah. Yeah, this is just so big here too. And I think that yeah, the closets look great. Wow. This is like really a functional upstairs space. Yeah, it is. It. it came together really nicely. I know, I feel like it did. I was nervous, but I feel like it feels good up here. I don't think you could do anything else. Yeah. You use the space very efficiently. It is like dedicate like half the room to like a closet, but that would feel awkward. Yeah. Because like. you'll put the bed. the bed here and that'll feel nice walking in. And then you can probably honestly get like a- We're gonna do a dresser right here. Yeah. I mean, I'm, you're not gonna stage it with the TV, but if I was living here, I'd probably put a TV like up yeah. on that wall. Yeah. No, that looks really good. I haven't seen the basement yet. Nice and wide. It's just so much, uh, like, it feels nicer than the last house. Oh my gosh. The freaking basement bar. Yep. RIP. Yeah. My favorite part of the house was this basement bar right here. <laughs> and they wanted it out, unfortunately for me. But that's okay. It, this is a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, same. Like a lot bigger. Wow. So like, yeah, what are you going to do? Just put like a small couple chairs. I mean, I'm not doing anything down here. Yeah. But they will put like, I imagine like the TV on this wall, yeah. but now I'm like, maybe it should be on this wall. Wow, like this actually looks, and this is like a really good size too. Whoa, I would rather be down here. You got a nice big closet. Wow, that looks really nice. So then this is the bathroom? Laundry room. Laundry room. So washer dryer will be right here, which this was like such a nightmare to figure out. Okay. Yeah, that looks that looks good to me. And then is this the old laundry chute? Yeah, so we're just gonna have a cabinet door there. Okay. And, and then, then this, this is, is shower bathroom. Wow, that actually like turned out really nice. Yeah. I think my favorite room is actually going to be this one right here. Yeah. Which I was, I thought originally that you should make this a dining room. Yeah. Like, I think because that's how it was originally. But I think when you add this wet bar in here, like, I think you and I would spend all of our time here because we'd be cooking. Yeah, no, this know, is like. And then you could hang out right here. You can mix it. This is definitely the hollow of the house. Yeah, I agree. And it's like, it makes the galley kitchen feel like open to this space. I hope you guys like seeing the house and everything else that I did this week. I'm gonna start another vlog tomorrow because cabinets got delivered, which is so exciting. Ben has to go to work. I have to go to work. Um, subscribe to our channel. Sub our channel. Our channel, yes, I provide a lot. <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Um, watch the GBOGH episodes, and I will see you at the next video.